Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome back to another one of Baby Ellis's afternoon time or bedtime stories, depending on where you are. We start off today with a new story, inspired by the previous story, Robinson Crusoe. We now begin with the story called The Swiss Family Robinson by J.D. Wise. The Swiss Family Robinson was published in 1812 in German, in 1814 in English, adapted into the classic 1960 Disney movie, Swiss Family Robinson. An adventure suited for the whole family, baby Elias. Wise was inspired by Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe to write a story about a castaway family in which the father taught important lessons to his children. We offer the 2000 edition which restores many of the interesting details of earlier versions no longer in print. It is volume one of the Castaways collection. Early edition cover illustration by T. H. Robinson. No relation to the Swiss family. We feature Wise's novel in our collection of books for young readers. Now to read the foreword. The Swiss Family Robinson by J. D. Wise. Foreword. No unabridged edition of exists in English. Indeed, the book has been rewritten so many times by so many editors that it can legitimately be said that that no complete edition of the book exists in language. Johann David Wise, a Swiss pastor, originally wrote this book to entertain and instruct his four sons. Years later, his son Johann, or Jean, accounts differ, Rudolf Weiss, by then a professor of philosophy, persuaded his father to allow him to complete and edit the unfinished manuscript. It was published in two volumes in Zurich in 1812 to 1813. Its French translator, Madame de Montelieu, obtained permission to great to greatly enlarge the book. It was published in five volumes from 1824 through 1826. The first English edition, Abridged, was published in 1814. It was followed by several other English translations of varying quality. In 1849, W. H. G. Kingston retranslated and greatly abridged Madame de Montholieu's version. Most English versions are based on Kingston's abridged version. Despite a vast number of amusing errors in flora and fauna, the book has entertained and warmed the hearts of many generations. However, most modern editions omit an incredible amount even of Kingston's translation by making small cuttings here and there, some of them maddeningly inept. The editor's cut edition from Pink Tree Press has been based on and compared with no fewer than five previous editions, all of them out of copyright. Most, though not all, of the cuttings have been restored. The material, the material that continues to be omitted is of little imaginable interest to anyone other than a scholar of 19th century literature. Paragraphing has been redone in order to facilitate ease of reading. Some archaic spelling and grammar have been retained as they are part of the flavour of the book. They have been changed when necessary for clarity. The British style of punctuation has been retained. The lengthy and unnecessary chapter headings have been omitted. Some parenthetical information is provided most often to define words no longer to be found in many English dictionaries. Anne Wingate, PhD, Editor-in-Chief, Pink Tree Press.